Hey guys, how you doing today? I am Sergio here with Tech Overclock. Guys, in today's video, I want to pretty much showcase the upcoming build that I got coming up. I'm gonna start off with the case. I got the tempered glass Hannity's or Entities case, which I regret buying it. Uh, kind of regret, kind of not. Uh, I'll talk to you guys uh, about that later. I am also using the Asus C170 motherboard and for the processor i'm going to be using the core i5 7600k you may question yourself is that compatible yes it is compatible can i overclock with it yes you can overclock with it so i got some overclocking videos coming up also for the power supply i'm using the thermal take smart series 600 watts 80 plus some people said um well that's a bad power supply that's a time bomb and whatnot I have used several of them and they're not, they're not bad. It's just the name and some femboism kind of thing. But anyways, let's put that to the side. For the graphics card, I'm using the Strix Gaming uh, Rodeon RX 480, 8GB, the Asus beautiful car. I have the unboxing video in the description if you want to watch that. And for the operating system, I'm going to be using Windows 10 Home Edition and it's going to be installed into this SSD, the send disk, 120 gigabyte. And to install the games and everything else, I'm going to be using this two terabyte Western digital hard drive, mechanical hard drive, uh, it's the black edition. And for the RAM, I'm going to be using 16 gigabytes of DDR4. The brand is the G-Skill Trident C. It's a 3200 megahertz. Really good RAM. I also got some benchmarks in the description if you want to watch that. To cool down the processor, the CPU, I got the Captain 240EX, the white edition. Also a very good all-in-one water cooler. And also guys, for the motherboard, I'm going to be using these uh, extension cables, beautiful extension cables. I got the 24 pin and I have an eight pin for the graphics card. It's going to look amazing. They already have cable comps. All right guys, well, this is a showcase of the parts that I'm going to be using. Stay tuned for the build guide and how I put it together. It's going to be awesome. And the reason why I said I kind of regret buying this tempered glass case, it's because, well, you touch the case, you leave fingerprints all over the glass and you constantly have to be cleaning it, cleaning it, and it's kind of annoying. Also, to be able to remove the side panels, you have to remove four screws in that it's, um, I'm not going to say time consuming, but it's very annoying, you know, taking out each screw by each screw and carefully removing that. So probably by now there's some updated versions of, you know, this type of tempered glass stuff. So that's the one reason why I kind of regret buying this case. Other than that, it's a beautiful case and I love it. I was going to do a review of it, but there's so many out there. It's just pointless for me to make one. But my honest opinion of it, the case is beautiful, beautiful design inside and out. And it's just a fingerprint magnet. All right, guys, stay tuned for the next video. I'll see you guys next time. You guys are awesome.